Hello, this is Gene Thorpe from Little Red Rooster TV, and we're here today with the Rickenbacker 1993 guitar. This is a very special guitar. I love Rickenbacker guitars. Rickenbacker guitars go all the way back into the 40s, and they're kind of a pioneer in the guitar business. But this one particular model is a very special model. In my case, this is my fifth Rickenbacker guitar that I actually own myself. And we're going to talk about this guitar because they're so special. But this particular model is some of the best components, some of the best things that Rickenbacker ever did. We'll start with the body. The body, body is made out of maple. And if you notice this hole on the body, this sound hole, is an F hole. It's not a cat's eye like most Rickenbacker guitars. Secondly, it does have the toaster style pickups that uh, Roger McGuinn would have played or George Harrison, but there are three of them. And so it's different because of that. Another thing about this guitar, it's got a two-piece maple neck and very interesting tuning uh, scenario on a Rickenbacker 12 string. One of the things that makes them very different is on a 12 string most of the time the little string would be the first one that you hit and then the big one would be second. But on a Rickenbacker the lowest string is the biggest string. And so when you play these they've got a completely distinctively different sound. Now I'm playing this guitar today out of a 1965 Fender Deluxe Reverb Reissue with an Ampeg uh, compressor. And it's an optical compressor, it's a very good thing. And one of the differences of this guitar, another one of the very particular different, big differences, is that this guitar has a much bigger neck than the normal Rickenbacker 12 string. If you're a guitar player and you've played very many uh, Rickenbackers, sometimes the neck is too small. This neck came out of the 600 series, whereas most of the guitars that were like this would have been in the 300 series, like the 360s, 330s. But the uh, 600 series necks are wider, almost 1 and 7 eighths inch wide, and would have been on a solid body guitar, a much smaller guitar. Peter Townsend from The Who loved these guitars and asked Rickenbacker to put the bigger neck on it. I'm so glad because it makes it a very playable guitar. Got the chime, there's no doubt about it. And many times, if you would have ever heard the birds, they would have been playing out of a Fender amplifier live. Although the legend has it that when he recorded Tambourine Man, it was with a compressor going directly into the board. So the Rickenbacker uh, 1993. Another thing that's different about this guitar that we've customized here is the pick guards. I have uh, had these custom ordered from Pick Guardian, and they are a wonderful company. The fellow from Pick Guardian was very nice. I got the truss rod cover from a fellow who I had a guitar very much like this that I captured on the internet. I tried to buy it from him, wouldn't sell it to me. But he had another one of these truss rod covers like this that he had custom made in Spain. So this guitar is custom in that regard. So gotta love them. I may do another one on, uh, you know, the sound of them. Uh, you know, the copyright laws that are coming around from, that, that are happening on YouTube right now, makes it so that uh, fellas like me, I'm not going to play riffs out of the songs that you know. These are uh, different riffs. But you can get an idea of the guitar. So this is Gene Thorpe, Little Red Rooster TV, and the Rickenbacker 1993 guitar signing out. Thank you.